Energy Storage Breakthrough Solid Hydrogen Explained Green hydrogen is recognized as one of the important ingredients for the future sustainable energy mix because it is both clean and abundant. However, there is an unnoticed but significant issue. It's a gas having a low energy density per unit volume. This makes storage, transportation, and operation difficult and costly. But what if we could cheaply store hydrogen as a solid? A promising invention from a startup could help accelerate the energy transition. It's so excellent that it's been banned. Hey everyone, how are you doing today? Before we proceed with this video, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Kindly click on the notification bell to get updates on our exciting content. In today's video, we will reveal the energy storage breakthrough. Heavy-duty e-mobility applications such as buses, vehicles, trains, and ships rely heavily on hydrogen. This is because these large-scale vehicles require an amount of energy that batteries cannot give at this time. On the other hand, a fuel cell does not need to be recharged, like a battery, as long as hydrogen is available. Compared to batteries, fuel cell electric vehicles FCEVs, have a larger driving range and a shorter refilling time. As a result, hydrogen is an excellent fuel for long-distance travel. However, there is still an issue. How can you safely and affordably store a large amount of hydrogen on board? The storage of hydrogen as a gas necessitates high-pressure containers, which are both expensive and difficult to keep secure. You could also compress it and transform it into a liquid. However, at around negative 252.8 degrees Celsius or negative 423 degrees Fahrenheit, hydrogen begins to boil. And if you want to retain it in a liquid state, you'll need to cool it down and put it in a cryogenic tank which is pricey to maintain. Compared to storing a liquid molecule, solid storage of single atoms would pack more hydrogen into a smaller space. Furthermore, it is more cost-effective because this method does not require high pressure or cold temperatures. This would be a low-cost way to extend the range of hydrogen-powered electric vehicles, allowing them to compete with fossil-fueled vehicles, and possibly even battery electric vehicles. That's why solid-state hydrogen storage applications have gotten a lot of attention. There are two ways to attach hydrogen to a metallic molecule in most cases. Absorption is another option. We're talking about absorption, which occurs when a hydrogen molecule or its individual atoms form a gentle bond with a solid surface known as the absorbent. The hydrogen atoms pass through the surface and bind to the absorbent's interior structure in the situation. In both circumstances, you'll have a metal hydride. On the other hand, Plasma Kinetics has come up with a somewhat different solution. This is a three-pronged, zero-carbon device that does various jobs. Capture, storage, and transport according to their website. This pot of gold, or hydrogen as the case may be, appears to have a bigger energy capacity and a lower cost than a lithium-ion battery. It may also be recharged in five minutes. According to the business, the hydrogen was absorbed from the air onto a light-activated nanoscale film that is 9 to 10 times flimsier than human hair. Because this hydrogen sponge can trap the gas at low temperatures and pressures, it's less expensive. Then, all you need to do is blaze a light on the film to get some hydrogen out. That sounds incredible, doesn't it? And perhaps a tad oversimplified. Let's try to obtain a better understanding of this technology. Hold on a minute. The question to ask should be, where did this concept originate? Plasma Kinetics presented its light-activated energy storage LAES technology to the U.S. Department of Energy in 2009, initially classified as transformational. Nevertheless, they changed their mentalities after a short time and labeled it as disruptive. Their invention, it appears, supplies an energy source that is protected by U.S. national security. As a result, the U.S. government held plasma kinetic patent until 2017, slowing their progress. When the corporation learned that its business activity was restricted by the International Traffic and Arms Regulations ITAR, they were shocked. In other words, they won't be able to sell their technology for missile fuel applications, which was never their goal in the first place. So, what's the big deal about? Plasma Kinetics developed a nanophotonic filter that collects hydrogen onto an internal graphite-based structure at atmospheric pressure and ambient temperature. The system could harvest 99.99% pure hydrogen directly from smokestacks and gas streams and solidify it in metric tons per day. Is that even possible? The secret to this incredible creation appears to be the substance employed, a multi-layer shape memory alloy, SMA. 
is an alloy that recalls its shape after it's been modified. This material can usually be molded at low temperatures and then heated back to its original shape. While SMAs may appear to be plastic, they are actually a mixture of two metallic components, such as nickel and titanium. Mechanical actuators and medical stents are two major SMA applications. You may find magnesium in plasma kinetics SMA. This alkaline earth metal is also a key component of chlorophyll, the photosynthetic pigment utilized by plants. That is why the substance used by the company interacts with light. This feature is the most important distinction when comparing light-activated hydrides to ordinary metal hydrides. The second type of material uses reversible absorption to connect hydrogen atoms to their solid framework. However, it must be released at a temperature of up to 200 degrees Celsius or 392 degrees Fahrenheit. The item is described as a movie projector or a CD player by the company. To release the contents of a cassette, canister, or disc, simply flash a laser light onto the hydrogen-filled film. A special guest. I'm referring to the hydrogen that has been trapped. That sounds fantastic, but how does it function in practice? During the absorption cycle, negatively charged spots within the film's nanopores attract positively charged hydrogen atoms. When a laser strikes the film, the light changes the polarity of the link from negative to positive, releasing the hydrogen atoms. That is a significant advantage of their system. The substance is not heated during the desorption process, as is the case with ordinary metal hydrides. Hydrogen is currently produced through energy-intensive and high-carbon technologies, such as natural gas reforming or electrolysis. As a result, Plasma Kinetics' zero-carbon capture technique might have a significant environmental impact on hydrogen generation. The business hopes to drive the implementation of heavy hydrogen-powered mobility applications such as boats, vehicles, and electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft VTOLs, by delivering a longer-lasting yet lighter energy storage. While hydrogen-powered passenger cars are unlikely to catch on in the same way that battery-powered vehicles have, the way this technology is expected to function is that you buy a hydrogen-filled disc cartridge from a convenience store. It doesn't necessitate specific safety storage such as hydrogen gas canisters, but more on that later. You return it when it's empty and exchange it for a fully charged one. It would normally take a few minutes to replace out the cartridges in the vehicle. The decarbonization of energy grids is another big market segment. Because plasma kinetic system can turn green hydrogen into even greener hydrogen, the surplus hydrogen generated by renewable-powered electrolysis will be stored in the company's storage system. Green hydrogen could be stored without the need for compression or liquefaction in some cases. The clean hydrogen can then be fed into fuel cells to be converted back into green electricity as needed. On overcast days or when the wind doesn't blow, this would fill the gaps in the clean power supply, making our renewables-based grid more flexible and resilient. Because of their adaptability, film-containing canisters can be built anywhere they are needed, such as at a wind farm. They could be used as a low-cost backup storage system for rural populations or as a transportable microgrid for disaster relief. The capture and storage of hydrogen seems very promising. But what about the distribution of hydrogen? When it comes to distribution, the plasma kinetic storage system has a significant advantage in terms of safety, as the hydrogen is transported in a non-flammable condition. This implies that it can be sent by any route with no constraints. However, the most innovative aspect of this illuminating hydrogen trap is that it eliminates the need for sophisticated and expensive infrastructure such as pumping stations and pipes to distribute compressed gas, the technique that can be scaled up from a single disk to a vast hydrogen library with ease. According to the company's pitch deck, they can securely transport 20,000 tons of hydrogen in one trip by loading their containers onto a single ship. That is enough energy to power 25,000 homes for a year. But how does their hydrogen storage technology compare with the competition? When compared to lithium-ion batteries, light-activated hydrides appear to be superior in every way. Plasma Kinetics claims that its technology is 17% less expensive and 30% lighter than lithium-ion batteries for the same amount of energy stored, in addition to having a better energy density. The light-activated storage unit, on the other hand, has an efficiency of up to 69-70%, to 70%, which is slightly lower than high-capacity batteries, which have an efficiency of between 69 to 70 percent 
and 89 to 90 percent. When compared to compressed gas systems, the fight is more intense. Solid-state hydrogen containers are significantly easier and safer to handle than compressed gas vessels, although being slightly heavier than carbon fiber tanks at roughly 700 bar, 10,000 psi. Furthermore, while plasma kinetic design has a lower energy density than highly pressured storage, its materials have a lower cost of energy. Using one of their light-activated hydrogen trucks instead of a compressed hydrogen-powered vehicle, according to the company's calculations, would save $22,500 per year in fuel expenditures. This is due to the fact that the cost of solid-state hydrogen per kilowatt hour is half that of compressed hydrogen. Furthermore, unlike the plasma kinetics method, a compressed gas hydrogen vehicle would require $2.6 million worth of recharging infrastructure per station. We get it! This technology is incredible, you say. But what's the catch? The only disadvantage, according to the company's founder, is that you can't just plug your car in at home and charge it like a traditional BEV. This is because the hydrogen must first be fed into a fuel cell to be converted into power. Furthermore, while the cartridge or film can be reused up to 150 times, the film is not endless. This is due to deuterium, hydrogen's larger twin, which fills the nanopores of the substance. The discs, on the other hand, are 100% recyclable, and you can even recover and sell the deuterium to help defray the costs of recycling. Hydrogen will play an important role in the energy transition, but only with feasible and effective storage technologies will we be able to make the most of it. This type of solid-state technology appears to be the way to go, and plasma kinetics is a reassuring glow at the end of the tunnel. But what are your thoughts? Does this breakthrough seem too good to be true? Do you believe this will give hydrogen the boost it needs to take off? Please, let me know in the comments section. If this video was insightful for you, then go on. Like this video, please kindly subscribe to our channel and click on the bell button for more of our updates.